Hi, I'm Nicola. Hi, I'm Bella. And we're filming a documentary. We're filming a documentary about Onega Mountain Dog Rescue. Onega Mountain Dog Rescue rescues Great Pyrenees and Akbosh in the general Sun Valley, Blaine County area. And they're a nonprofit organization that we've actually adopted two of our dogs from. Yeah, two of our four. Yeah. <laughs> so we got connected to Unega about a year, just over a year and a half ago. Yeah. And a really good family friend of ours had been connected with them for a while back. And she thought it would be great to send us down so Nicola could get some photos of them and then we could do a video sharing what they do and why their mission is so important. We spent a couple days there and we met Tiffany, the founder of Unega, and filmed the dogs and fell in love with them. And I think by the end we were, I was ready to stuff a little like puppy in my like, studio. <laughs> so about a year ago we filmed kind of like a six-ish minute, a ago, yeah. yeah about a year and a half ago we filmed like a short video that kind of explains who Unega was and what they're trying to do and why they're trying to actually change the laws that surround the Akbosh and the Great Pyrenees in Sun Valley, Idaho, I think Wyoming, there's like a couple other states uh, where the dogs are actually qualified as livestock which means they're not protected just like other normal dogs other are. Dogs yeah. So the laws that surround these great Pyrenees and Akbosh, when we've said that they're treated as they're considered livestock, that means that they can be abandoned, left on a mountain, shot, maimed, you can mistreat them, starve they're, them, cage them. Normally they're not, um, normally they're not neutered or spayed. Oftentimes yeah. they don't get their vaccines and so they can get very sick. So what Unega Mountain Dog Rescue does is they rehabilitate and they rescue great Pyrenees and Akbosh uh, in the Sun Valley area, like we said, and then rehabilitate, rehabilitate them get them ready to get adopted into a family life or to go and work on another, on a farm or a ranch and protect livestock or in some cases chickens. <laughs> so this year we decided we want to take part in the Sun Valley Film Festival and bring an awareness to everything that really pretty much surrounds these dogs and who Unega is and what they do. And it's great because, you know, the Sun Valley Film Festival and Unega is right down the street yeah. from Sun Valley. So it seemed like a perfect thing to do. We will be competing, hopefully, in the 2024 Sun Valley Film Festival, which means right now it's December of 2022, and we have until October 2023 to finish all of our filming, editing, and get it submitted, and hopefully in April of 2024, we'll be at the film festival. Yes. So we decided that we actually want to film the entire movie on anamorphic lenses, so you're probably like, what are anamorphic lenses? Basically, instead of making our image look like this by taking this and putting a black bar here and a black bar here, it just kind of looks like this. We're very excited. It's the first time we actually are doing a project with them, yeah. which is why it was so great to be able to get out to Sun Valley before our longer trip to go test them out. The purpose of filming this is, I guess there's a couple. Well, A, it's, you know, Sun Valley has its own film festival, and so we're gonna be sharing what is going on with these dogs, with their community, with spreading awareness of the organization and of the dogs. Ideally, this would help spearhead changing the laws surrounding these dogs in Idaho, and then perhaps that could expand over to the other states that had the same, the same laws, and that these dogs can still work. They're a working breed, they love to work, and that shouldn't, that shouldn't stop, but the mistreatment of them should. To find out more about the organization and the dogs and to see tons of photos of these pups, uh, definitely follow Unega on Instagram. I think it's Unega Mountain Dog Rescue. We'll put that, we'll put the handles down here somewhere. Uh, check out their website as well. And over the next, how long? It's December till October, so 10 months. Uh, we're probably gonna be out there about 10 times filming and bringing all of you amazing people uh, along with us to see a little bit behind the scenes of what life is like in at the rescue. Um, hopefully when we're gonna go and do some rescues ourselves and tag along and bring you guys along the entire process of how we, how we made our movie for the Sun Valley Film Festival. <laughs>